welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Twee my clicker was not working to turn on this camera and I was like is that a sign that I should not be filming this damn video because I might be cancelled the other day I was literally scrolling on my phone thinking what video should I film and I stumbled across Manny MUA's video where he rated celebrities I think Laura Lee actually done a video like this as well I do feel like it is a bit of a weird experience when you meet fellow influencers or celebrities it's like like, wow you are a real person and I thought it would be really, really fun to do a video similar to Manny and Laura's but this time I wanted to mention some influences that I met and I'm gonna rate the experience and tell you what it was like it's gonna be a really really casual video I feel like I just want to like chit chat tonight so if you guys want to hear me rate celebrities and also fellow influencers please keep watching <laughs> pajamas okay i've got my water here we are sipping we are snacking this video is not to slate anyone at all i literally just thought it would be nice to kind of like chit chat and tell you guys some like crazy experiences that i have encountered during my time you know i feel like celebrities and influencers they're all people you know everyone has good days everyone has bad days so even if i had a slightly negative experience i don't take that personally at all like they could have just had a bad day you know i don't want to cause no drama but i also want to keep it real at the same time okay so first off i thought it would be really interesting since i watched many mua's video which inspired this video i thought it would be interesting to tell you guys my experience meeting many mua i actually met many mua like three years ago i think it was at a beauty bay event beauty bay actually flew over many mua Patrick Starr and Jeffree Star as well and it was an event for influencers to go and meet them so this was the time where Manny MUA and Jeffrey were like really really good friends before all the drama getting and all that kind of stuff okay I think I told this story in my decluttering video at the time Manny MUA actually done a collaboration with Ofra he'd done like a liquid lipstick I actually brought my liquid lipstick to the meet and greet and I asked him to sign it and he was so nice about it he was like going out of his way to try to find the sharpie pen and he was literally asking me so many questions. You know, sometimes whenever you meet like influencers or celebrities, they tend to just talk about themselves. He was actually so genuinely interested in like me as an influencer. I was really, really small at the time. This was even before I even had my damn nose job, girl. So this is how long I'm going back, okay? But I remember like showing him my Instagram and he was just giving me advice. At the time, I was posting three separate photos of the same look and he was instructing me to maybe like not do that because people might be, a bit bored of the same repetitive look so maybe like switch it up you know maybe post that photo a few weeks later and try to like drag it out a little bit and post other videos and photos in between and I remember taking his advice it literally like changed my Instagram game I really do owe it to Manny MUA because otherwise I'll probably be still here posting like the same three photos to keep like a theme going on and stuff he was honestly so nice so genuinely caring and he really just wanted to know about me and you know when people do like meet and greets I felt like he'd done it in like the perfect way so I definitely rate him like a good 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 he was so so lovely and I do feel like watching his videos he is literally exactly the same as how he is in real life okay next up let's talk about Patrick Star I've actually met Patrick Star so many times I've met him in LA we've actually gone to the club together to the gay bars together we've met each other in Tokyo again and he is such a nice person as well he has like an entourage around him at all times when I say entourage I don't mean like security or anything like that but he's always with his brother he's also with his stylist I think I think they're just like generally like really really good friends he's such a nice person along with his brother his brother is so so sweet and so kind as well Patrick Starr has actually given me and my friends so much advice and I remember like talking to him and he was telling me about his Mac collaboration and how he done everything himself like when it comes to marketing that campaign that he done with Mac he's such a visionary he does his own for photography he models he is the director of everything I just think he's so talented and he's definitely paved the way towards like men in makeup and I just have so much respect for him so yeah Patrick Starr he's so 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 lovely so yeah definitely rate him like a good like 8 out of 10 the majority of people that I've met they've all been really really sweet okay let's talk about Jeffree Star <laughs> 
I would say he probably wasn't as friendly as like Patrick Starr or like Manny MUA. He was kind of just there to kind of like take the photo and like, not that you felt like you was ushered away, but you definitely felt like he had a lot of people to kind of go through. And this was the time where Nathan and Jeffree Star were still together and Nathan was actually there at the meet and greet. You could just tell that Nathan did not want to be there. He was looking at his clock. He was not making any eye contact. He was just scrolling on his phone, which you know, boyfriends, they're just there to support their partner, you know? I don't expect him to like do anything obviously. I don't know if you guys ever feel like this but if you guys ever watch my videos I'm sure you guys must feel a little bit of like connection to Gwang. Obviously you guys don't watch the vlogs for him. He is a part of my life so you kind of know a bit about him so if you ever saw me most of the times you'll probably be like oh hey Gwang like so nice to meet you or whatever. So obviously when I met Jeffrey, I was like oh hi Nathan. Just wanted to like be nice or whatever and he was just like the head nod you know like typical boys. <laughs> Jeffrey Star he was really really nice as well. He said how beautiful my makeup was. I think he actually put me on his Snapchat at the time. He wasn't like overly friendly, but he wasn't horrible at the same time. He definitely felt more of that kind of like celebrity status, you know? Like you definitely felt like you couldn't get too close. You didn't want to say the wrong thing because he might like backhand your ass. <laughs> he might slap a bitch up. He might hit you in the back of your head with his Birkin. <laughs> he just exudes this don't talk to me bitch kind of vibes. But he never came across as like, oh, you can't talk to me. But he just gives this energy off of like, you better watch what you say, bitch, you know? I feel like out of all three influencers, everyone wanted to meet Jeffree Star. The whole experience, I'll probably rate him a good six out of 10. I know Jeffree Star is a very Marmite type of person. Some people love him, some people hate him, but you know what? I just have so much respect for anyone that has come from nothing and they created such a big empire from themselves. Okay, so let's move on to an actual like celebrity now. When I was a makeup artist, I actually done makeup for quite a few celebrities. I assisted on a lot of jobs as well with celebrities. If you guys don't know what assisting is, it's basically where you have a main makeup artist. I used to be someone's first assistant, which is like the makeup artist right hand man. I would be there to do all of the backup dancers and normally the main makeup artist would do the main person. I remember at the time he was so lovely to me and he gave me so many amazing opportunities and he taught me so much. Whenever he couldn't do a job, he'd always pass it to me. And we'd done so many amazing jobs together. We traveled the world. We'd done London Fashion Week. We'd done Paris Fashion Week. We flew to Italy to do Fashion Week there and there was just so many amazing experiences at the time. I feel like if I didn't go down the influencer route, I would probably be with him for a long time because he was always so lovely to me and gave me all the opportunities that he couldn't do, you know. He just was always so giving. It's really hard to ever find a makeup artist like that, especially back in the days. I feel like a lot of makeup artists, they were so like hush hush with all their secrets and stuff like that. Anyways, because of him, I got to experience a lot of behind the scenes, really exclusive shoots. So I remember meeting Emma Watson. I'm not even a big Harry Potter fan. I only just watched the first Harry Potter like two years ago to kind of see what the hype is about. I didn't know it was such a big deal of who she was, if that made any sense. I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, Emma Watson. And if you guys don't know, Emma Watson, is actually known to actually do her own makeup and I actually wasn't aware of that. Normally whenever we do like big magazines and stuff like that, normally it would always be the makeup artist, the hairstylist and the photographer. The three trio would always decide on like what makeup they're gonna do, what hair they're gonna do, what's the vibe of the photo shoot and all that stuff. Emma Watson was the first time that I've been in a photo shoot where it's like she wanted to do everything herself. I don't think she was horrible at all. Obviously being a celebrity I have no idea about that kind of life. Yeah it was quite weird being in that kind of environment where it's like talking to her it was like she didn't want to talk to you directly it would be like she talks to someone else to talk to you if that makes any sense being like a little assistant makeup artist I was just like a bit intimidated by that kind of environment so obviously I just kept my mouth shut like just cleaning the damn brushes there was definitely things that I noticed like she just kept going off and like kept redoing the makeup that the makeup artist would do I don't know for me personally I think that's a little bit rude but at the same time I do understand that everyone has their own way of doing their makeup. People have a certain image that they want to portray, so obviously I do understand that as well. But I remember thinking at the time, like, I don't know, maybe at least say that, oh, is it okay if I just do this? She wouldn't do that. She would literally just go off and, like, just put on loads of blusher. And I remember the way that she would do blusher. She would, like, go in on blusher and go like this. 
Rule number one of being a makeup artist is to never blow on your brush. That's like the quickest way to like spread corona, you know, in 2021. She was a really nice person. She said hi to everyone and she also said bye to everyone as well. So I rate the experience with Emma Watson maybe like a, a 5.5 out of 10. Okay, so the next experience I'm going to tell you guys is when I met Nikita Dragon. I'm sure you guys will know by now, but I get compared so much to Nikita Dragon. I don't think there's a day that goes past where I don't get a comment that says, you look like Nikita Dragon. You look like Nikita Dragon's twin or you look like the cheap version of Nikita Dragon. I get compared to Nikita so much and to be honest I probably play on it a little bit you know I use her as a little bit of clickbait you know what I'm saying. <laughs> People can say as much as you want about Nikita but I think she's just so stunning. Even though it's from surgery, even though it's plastic fantastic I think she looks freaking amazing. I'm gonna take it as a compliment if I look like the cheap version of Nikita okay. Because I probably am, I probably did go to the cheaper surgeon you know let's not lie. Okay so I met Nikita when I I was in LA with NYX. I actually got flown over to LA to go to the NYX Face Awards. I remember feeling so like alone at that event because I was the only British person there. I went to the awards and obviously I had the PR to hang around with but then afterwards they had like an after party and I didn't know anyone so I remember just walking around by myself. I remember this was so embarrassing. I had to ask like a janitor to help me take like an outfit of the day photo because I really wanted like show off my outfit. I remember I wore this like black frilly kind of outfit from Pretty Little Thing who was sweeping I was like excuse me can you please help me take a photo and he took the most ugliest horrendous photo ever it was like so blurry and there was so much ground and not enough ceiling it was just not cute I shouldn't have even bothered him I remember that feeling of like oh I don't know anyone and I remember feeling so so freaking awkward so anyways at this event I did meet quite a few different influencers and I met Patrick Starr again at that event and he was also really really nice to me but Nikki Nikita actually tapped me on my shoulder and was like, oh hey twin! She actually came up to me, which is such a crazy experience because I've been following Nikita for a long time and I feel like when I met her then she wasn't as big as she is now and it was a time where her and Gabriel Zamora were like really really good friends. I don't know if they're still good friends. I don't even know if they're still talking anymore. Oh, that's some tea that I need to like catch up on. I remember it so clearly this moment where she was like, let's take a couple of photos and she was like, let's do a fake laugh. That was the first time I've ever had any Anyone say that to me of like let's take a photo but pretend to laugh and I remember feeling a bit like oh okay like and we was like laughing like ha 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 now that I think about it I guess that's normal to like laugh and pretend to like smile for a photo I don't even know if we still have the photo together but she was really really nice she had to like run off because her uber came I thought it was so sweet that she actually came up to me because normally it would be like a little mingy little small follower like me going up to her and also Gabriel Zamora he was actually so nice as well like so 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 sweet those two had like a really cute chemistry and there was like whispering to each other and you could tell they were like really really good friends in that situation I'm not gonna lie I did feel a little bit like I wasn't like close to them so I didn't want to be like staying around them all night long it was kind of the point where you kind of can tell like okay bye <laughs> so awkward now that I think about it I'm like oh my god all these awkward encounters I rate both Gabby and Nikita Dragon like a good 7 out of 10 they both was really really sweet to me I feel like if I met them again I feel like both of us would say hi so so yeah, I guess that was a good experience. It's so weird that I think about rating influencers because really influencers are just like normal people. They're definitely not celebrities or anything like that. I thought it would be interesting to tell you guys my experiences. Hit this thumbs up video, okay? Because this video is quite awkward to talk about now that I say it out loud in a video. Okay, so next up, I'm going to talk about my experience doing Kalani's makeup. If you guys don't know who Kalani is, she's like a big American rapper singer. This is back in the days when I used to be a makeup artist. This was like a good maybe like six and a half years ago this was the time where she was still kind of like blowing up and she had her whole entourage that come in i was the only person on that shoot obviously there was a hairstylist as well i remember feeling so intimidated i kind of asked her what kind of makeup did she want to go for and she was just so nice she was like yeah anything you think the vibe was kind of like cool makeup wasn't anything too crazy she kind of just wanted like a liner so i remember feeling so nervous to do her eyeliner it all turned turned out well in the end and she loved her makeup so yeah it was a really really good experience it was quite a brief experience to be honest I remember her manager coming and telling her her schedule of like okay you have to do this interview now and this press interview tomorrow and all of her weekly schedule and it just sounded so crazy like the life of a celebrity is just so different and you've got this schedule 
looked after and then you have your lunch to think about and all this other stuff and people always constantly surround you all the time it can definitely be a bit intimidating even now after coronavirus looking back at my old life i'm like oh my god i can't believe i used to run around to all these different events and stuff it feels like a whole nother lifetime ago you know so yeah she definitely had that attitude where she was like really really grateful to be this so i rate kalani a good eight out of ten she was a really really nice person okay so last person i'm gonna talk about is iggy azalea i remember the first time i saw iggy azalea it's actually before her nose job she was so beautiful before and i remember looking at her body i'm like oh god damn her ass was fat this was not a very good experience if i'm completely honest this one i'm like oh hopefully iggy and her team is not watching this it was for a photo shoot again this is when i was like not an influencer or anything like that i was just a makeup artist i was actually assisting iggy azalea hmm how can i say this without causing too much trouble she actually arrived late i remember her being quite late where we all was waiting around for her it was for a magazine shoot normally for a magazine shoot especially with editorial no one gets paid to be on that job i definitely was not paid as the assistant makeup artist i don't know if the makeup artist was paid i remember looking back on this time in my life and running around to all these different editorials and thinking like is this even worth it like i'm not getting paid for any of this i have to cover my own travel i had to pay for my own lunch and i'm doing back breaking work all for exposure and you know to get maybe a chance to be credited in a magazine just bearing in mind everyone there is just working for free to be able to you know get the chance to say that they worked with this celebrity or whatever she arrived late her team was not happy with the selection of outfits the stylist was not very happy obviously can you imagine like this is your job and imagine someone coming in and be like no we don't like any of these outfits so i don't know if it was Iggy herself I don't know if it was her team herself they did not want her to wear the outfits that were selected everyone had to like wait around for three hours for the stylist for the stylist assistant to call around to see if they can get new outfits there was call up Dior like can we get the latest Dior collection and trying to like uber things over trying to get Addison Lee to bring over like new clothing and stuff like that because she just wouldn't wear any of the clothing that was like a long time wait I remember those three hours everyone was just like <sighs> we're just all like kind of like fiddling our thumbs like there's nothing to do or whatever normally whenever you do someone's makeup they are in front of a mirror you kind of like get them to close their eyes or whatever but she just wanted to keep a mirror up here and just like observe everything that was happening and i remember she wanted to do her own eyeliner she wanted to do her own eyebrows as well obviously that's fine because you know that's the way you want to do things that's totally fine and also for lunch she wanted kfc but she only wanted like a certain piece of chicken in the kfc bucket and then when the bucket came she didn't even eat the kfc to be honest she didn't even acknowledge me she didn't even know that i was in the room she didn't say hi to me she definitely didn't say bye to me so i felt really grateful to be there because i was like oh my god this is our first like big celebrity or whatever she didn't acknowledge me she wasn't that nice to be honest so yeah i probably rate her like a four out of ten that's what would be nice to be honest oh god i feel like a bitch but yeah guys this was years ago maybe it was just her team that was being a bit difficult maybe it was her maybe it was just me having a big expectation because she was like a celebrity or whatever i don't know so yeah guys this was a bit of a fun video to film very different if you guys haven't seen laura's video and if you guys haven't seen manny's video they've done videos where they actually met celebrities and rated them 10 out of 10 they met like mariah carey and they met like really really big celebrities like Nicki minaj me over here i'm just like oh i've met patrick star and Nikki to dragon <laughs> but i thought it would be interesting to film like a video like this just in case anyone was wondering what my experience was like a lot of times with celebrities and influencers they're all just people you know so any experience i take with a grain of salt you know they might have had a really good day that day they might have had a really bad day that day everyone is just human people have good days people have bad days it just is what it is let me know if you guys have had any experiences meeting celebrities or influencers i would love to know your experience down below in the comment section and that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching this one and i'll see you in my next video bye oh my god my clicker wasn't working to turn on the camera and i'm like is that a sign that i should not be filming this video because i might get cancelled i feel like i'm sweating and all i've been doing is just sitting here i feel like my top lip is like breaking a sweat hi welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is twee welcome back if you're new here hi my name is Tweet. did i say that already oh god it's all going down here already my celebrity and influencer in camp i think i should not be filming this video because my voice is going i know his character is a very oh god oh god this is jeffree star i'm like 
saying his name he's like making my throat dry oh my god that was a weird video to film should i even upload this is this a weird video i really enjoyed manny and laura's video but i feel like influencers am i just like barking up the wrong tree over here is this just like a really cringe video to film i don't know guys if you guys are watching this well i guess it's uploaded so let me know what you think down below in the comment section all right peace